talk to me about that one knife design idea that you had that you thought was truly innovative until you found out that it was already being done. How's it going, everybody? I'm Roll Shambo, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And today we're talking about a knife that I've wanted to get my hands on for quite a while. In, fi in fact, two knives that I've wanted to get my hands on. And this, of course, is the Paramilitary 2 Ultra or the PM2 Ultra. And before you start saying, hey, that looks like a regular paramilitary too i want you to take a closer look you see that that button right there does it remind you of something does it perhaps remind you of the spider co smock well it should because just like the smock this knife is actuated via the compression lock with a button tab on it which is pretty damn sweet now Shout out to Tori Casey, longtime supporter, viewer, channel member, etc., etc., because he made this possible. You see, I've been wanting to check this knife out for the last almost a year. It's been about nine months. Here's how that story goes. About nine, ten months ago, I reached out to Knives We Love or Blades We Love. I believe it's it's one of the two. I, I'll have to put it up on the screen because I'm blanking. It's either blades we love or knives we love i reached out to them because i saw that they had this this is their variant this is their modification that they do and we'll get into that uh but they're the only ones that do it and i said hey i would love to show this on the channel i think people would go bananas for the ultra mod people would love that i know i would love that would you lend me one and they said, hey, we've got a lot of demand for it right now. We can't send you one. Hit us up in two weeks. So two weeks goes by, like clockwork. I said, hey, do you have one that you could let me borrow? They said, no, we're running behind. Hit us up in two weeks. Two weeks goes by. Hey, how's it going? You know, Are you guys still interested in having me feature this? And they said, no, yes, no, yes. Long story short, I followed up with them for the better part of four months. And it just never happened. Now, that's no shade to them. In fact, all the props in the world to them for creating this excellent modification. This is how I think all compression locks should operate. But it's not without Tori Casey that this review gets done. Now, I've already talked about the regular Paramilitary 2. And I've already talked about the Para 3. Let's see how well they do when they go ultra. All right, guys, this has been a long time coming. And first and foremost, I got to say huge shout out to Tori Casey, for making this possible. He's the one who lent me these knives so that I could finally talk about them, so I could finally get them in hand. And that's absolutely phenomenal. This video does not happen without you. Thank you, Tori Casey, for sending me these knives so that I could check them out. Now, I've been sitting on these knives for a few days, handling them, thinking about them, developing my opinion because while these might look like your standard run-of-the-mill para 3 and paramilitary 2 they're not um, and it goes far beyond the fact that these are aftermarket scales it has everything to do with the fact that these are button lock actuated compression lock knives now i i know i know when you hear button lock you're probably thinking about, you know, the traditional plunge lock design, you know, like this, uh, you know, that's button actuated. But if you look at this, you'll notice that this is a plunge lock. It's a common form of button lock, the most common. Whereas on the Para 3 and PM2 Ultras, it's a compression lock 
that is just actuated by this. Now that is absolutely fantastic. And it's not the first time we've seen this kind of action before on a Spyderco. You might actually recognize it from the Spyderco Smock, which is currently the only knife from factory that Spyderco makes that uses this tab right here like a button. Now, I still call it a button lock because that's what it is. You have spring pressure. In this case, it's just in the form of a compression lock, which is way, way more sturdy than a plunge lock. And it's just super good. I love the compression lock stock on Spyderco knives, but using that tab as a button really, really helps make sure that the knife is super easy to use, very fidget friendly, without compromising the stability of the lock. If you didn't know, compression locks are sturdier than frame locks. A lot of people make this mistake of thinking that a compression lock is in fact a liner lock and while the lock itself does depend on a liner it's different because it actually incorporates the stop pin between the blade and the liner whereas a regular liner lock just incorporates the liner so these are much sturdier and it's been proven uh, blade hq a couple years ago ran some tests where they tested out all these knife locks to see which one would hold the most weight and lo and behold, the compression lock held up better than frame locks. Also, you get the added benefit of knowing that you're not going to, to over travel that lock bar on accident because since it's not a frame lock, uh, you, you can't hold the knife too tight. The ultras are basically a modification from blades we love or knives we love, and it, it's it's one part adding this tab but also another part using this specific type of scale now i'm going to be honest i'm not sure if you have to get these scales from them or if there's companies out there that'll make them for you like this um, you'll notice that there is no cutout right here so it goes beyond just you know cutting a hole in your scales and adding this the smock button we'll call it the smock button uh, because you have to have this that scale material right there to actually be able to drill into so that you can even do this modification. Now, this is aftermarket G10 scales, and this is what they call G Carta. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that G Carta is a uh, micarta overlaid over G10. And this feels fantastic. The smooth texture of this micarta, with which is obviously a micarta on the top it's wonderful it's light it feels durable very grippy while also being smooth it's really really a joy to hold in the hand i'm going to make an admission i didn't realize that tori casey is left-handed i didn't and so i was a little baffled when i got these in hand me being right-handed and i was like something just feels weird and it took me a hot second and then i realized oh yeah the clip is on the other side these are left hand variants <laughs> so both of these knives are set up to be left hand carry and you know what i've i've made comments in the past where i said you know it, it can't be that hard to carry a knife you know that's meant to be right-handed left-handed and so this was a challenge for me because here i am having said that and now i need to hold and actuate a knife right-handed that's meant to be left-handed and i gotta say it is definitely different it's not necessarily as easy or it doesn't feel the same, but when you hold this in the left hand, it actually does feel better. So guys, I get that, I see that. I just wanted to go ahead and let you know, um, I feel your struggle. All you Southpaws out there, I feel your struggle. But if I can do it, uh, you can do it. There's hope for all of us. At the end of the day, it's still a cutting tool. Now, everything that makes a para three and a paramilitary to a great knife is still there you've got the size you've got the ergonomics the snappiness of the action the compression lock being actuated by these buttons is really quite literally the best upgrade you can do to a spider co knife i said it i'm not going to take it back it's one of the reasons why i love my spider co smock so much is i love actuating that compression lock with that button tab it's just 
fantastic. And being able to get that on a Spyderco Para 3 or a Paramilitary 2 leads me to believe that there's no reason why Spyderco can't do this. They own the patent on the compression lock. They already make it in the form of the smock. Why don't we see this more widely on other knives? It's time. It's time that they recognize that people like the ability to press a button and release a blade. That is legitimately the best way to actuate a compression lock. I know some of you out there are going to say, well, what about the CME? The compression lock made easy mod. That's uh, you know, basically a $30, $40 piece of micarta or g10 that you glue on to the compression tab and it acts just like this it's not the same and i'm gonna say this like it, yes it works yes it makes it easy to actuate but it is not the same aesthetically ergonomically it's just not the same now i know that these g carta scales are from uh a guy over at pro pro forex pro x I'd have to check the message from uh, from the owner of these knives to see exactly where he got them. But I'm telling you right now, G Carta, I'm officially a fan. That feels fantastic in the hands. And also, guys, if you want one of these, um, I've only ever seen these at Blades We Love. So definitely go ahead and, and check them out if you want one of these. Uh, they've, they've got quite a few different styles of the scales. And again, the scales are important because the regular scales for a paramilitary two, just to give you an example, here's my paramilitary two. See how there's this cutout right there so that you can access the compression lock. These scales do not have that. And without it there, you have nothing to drill through for that button. So the scales are definitely important. I think I would probably want mine in titanium, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. Let me know, have, have you seen these before? Do you want one? Would you love to be able to actuate a paramilitary two just like you actuate a smock? Like that is something that I think is stupidly cool. And I'm very, very excited to have had the chance to check this out. Uh, this modification, the paramilitary two ultra, the PM two ultra, the PM three ultra, this is quite literally a game changer for this knife. The ease of use of a button with the stability of a compression lock. Best button locks out there. And you know you cannot change my mind. If you only look at button locks uh, as plunge locks, then okay. But this is definitely a button actuated compression lock. And uh, yeah, I said what I said. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Are you interested in this style and this design? Are you not interested? If not, why not? Let me know. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, boohoo, you know what to do. You can find me in the comment section. And if you want to see more knife content, there's definitely more coming. Make sure you hit subscribe and smash that notification bell. I'm Roll Shambo. I'll catch you on the flip side.